Hey everyone, Sean, I'm back at Proust and I have an awesome, awesome shelled little guest for you to see today. This is a Central American wood turtle, sometimes called the ornate wood turtle. This is becoming one of my new favorite ones because although I've only ever seen pictures of them, this is the first time seeing in person and they have such little cool personalities on top of the fact that they also have some also awesome coloring. So if you can get a good look there, you can see that there's various like stripes of orange and yellow and black on the insides of a shell, but also shell designs out there. It's kind of hard to see the color right now because being a wood turtle, these guys do burrow into the ground a little bit, and so their shell tends to get really dirty. Now, just like other types of box turtles and wood turtles, these guys are omnivores. So mainly at his size, he's gonna be seeking things out like grubs, earthworms, crickets, cockroaches, and things like that. But also because he's a wood turtle, he spends part of his time on land, of his time in water so when he goes down the water he'll be able to hunt fish and aquatic insects um, he'll even eat aquatic um, vegetation that's down there so when we have these guys in captivity the majority of their diets actually greens we do like collard greens mustard greens radish greens and we'll do things like sweet potato and zucchini and summer squash but he also gets his crickets his earthworms his waxworms and when he gets big enough he can get things like hornworms now these guys are also very, very smart. When we think of reptiles, we don't think of them as being smart animals, but that's because in the past, the way that we would try to gauge the intelligence of say this turtle or a lizard or a snake is by giving the same type of intelligence test that we might give say a monkey. Well, that's not gonna tell us how smart he is. You're not gonna know how smart a fish is by him trying to figure out how to climb a ladder because fish can't climb ladders, but monkeys can. You have to figure out a test that shows that fish how it can perform an action. And it's actually the same thing with reptiles. We just figured out different ways to test these guys to figure out how smart they are. And what we started finding out is that little turtles and tortoises like this can distinguish colors, shapes, patterns, and they can even start to count. We just had to figure out different types of systems for them that really worked. And these guys are actually end up being one of the smarter turtles out there. They're also one of the more personable ones. They start to figure out who people are really quick and they figure out that, hey, I'm not a predator and I'm not gonna hurt them. So when this little guy is in his enclosure with his brothers and sisters, they start to learn when feeding time is and when water change times are. And when that happens, they all come forward because they know food's gonna come up. And they like dig themselves up out of their burrows and they all line up with the glass and every time the door opens, they all look up because they know that food's gonna come. That's a way of saying that they're conditioned. They know that when the door opens, food will come up there, but that's also something that they learned. Now, I'll give you kind of a close up to kind of see. And again, his colors aren't prominent right now just because he's dirty, but he is a very, very cute little wood turtle. Now, these guys do come from Central and South America. Their range actually goes from Mexico all the way down into the Northern and Central parts of South America. And like other wood turtles around the world, these guys prefer living in wooded and marshy lands that are close to water. As I mentioned earlier, they do like water and they do like land. They can go in between them. So they live in marshes, they live in swamps, they live in woodlands, vernal wetlands, and uh, wetted woodlands. So all kinds of cool areas to find these guys in. And also, like a lot of other wood turtles and box turtles, they don't have a huge range. That means the type of area that they, they explore in. So a lot of these guys are going to have very limited ranges, sometimes from a mile or up to a few miles from where they're hatched out, and they just circle around that area and they'll go to it. That's why when you find turtles, especially like box turtles on the sides of the road, you don't want to bring them to a different place. You need to have them where they were at because they're going to go exploring, and they will spend the rest of their life if they have to trying to get back to that original spot. So I hope you learned something cool about our little friend here. I'm going to give you another little close-up as he's checking himself out. We can kind of see all that cool patterning on a shell. See some of the cool coloring as well. So, cool. Hope you guys learned something nice.